Thank you. Thank you for bringing your film to, uh, to the RAP screening series. Um, I know for a lot of people, one of the revelations of this movie is, is certainly Carrie Mulligan. Um, what was it that you saw in her in the casting process? She has poise and a, an unusual combination of, of fragility and strength, and her voice is really beautiful. And she's, uh, she also has secrets. She's someone you want to uh, spend time with, and she can carry a film. It's a combination of a lot of things. She's a really unusual girl, but still very versatile, and you can cast her in a lot of different roles, I think. And, and that is already happening, that people uh, uh, offer her jobs that are very different, and that, that's promising for her career. Mm -hmm. As a director, you've always, I, th I think, been able to find the comedy in very serious subjects. I mean, is that a tricky balance to to get to? It's it, uh, well, the comedy is somehow a good tool to help you be serious because you can be <laughs> that that music <laughs> illustrates what I'm talking <laughs> about. No, but it's um, it's a way of being serious without being over sentimental, and um, sadness is a way of, of being funny without being superficial. So I think it, it is uh, it's a crowbar in a way, humor. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I wouldn't want to do something that's fast. Uh, I've I've tried it actually. I've done sitcom many years ago, and you. Um, something that may work for 25 minutes and is entertaining and people running in and out of closets and screaming and, yell and yelling is fun to look at but it's it's uh, hard to do and it's tough and it's time consuming and it's not something i would want to spend a lot of work years on mm -hmm. it, it seems like there's at one point in the film i mean it's one of the most serious moments in the movie is happening in the front seat of a car and there's basically a comedy seen taking place in the back seat at the same time um, you know we, what what's the appeal to you of, of something like that I think it's something Nick Hornby and I have in common that we like material that has both uh, elements at the same time and hopefully even more than that more layers than just being sad and funny uh, at the same time I don't think there is a contradiction and I'm not afraid of doing it of course, sometimes there are jokes that you want to avoid because they are not, I mean, because they are not there for any, any dramatic reason. And they, humor is low-hanging fruit and you shouldn't pick all of it. But, um, uh, but I like Nick's tone a lot and he, and he and I have something in common when it comes to um, cracking inappropriate jokes. <laughs> or suddenly being very emotional and that I, I think that's a good balance of his that I've really enjoyed working with. Mm -hmm. I can, do you mind that my answers are this long? No, this is great. Oh, this okay. <laughs> Especially the score. <laughs> right. Right, we're, we're, oh. Yes, we have, we have background music yeah. for your score for your answers here. <laughs> um, I mean, you're a director coming from a, you know, the, the dogma movement in which obviously this movie is nothing like that, but was, were there elements in your background that prepared you to make a film like this? Well, probably more the elements of my pre-dogma background, which is a more classical film education, where I, um, for instance, would study both the French and Italian films of the time that this film uh, takes place in. and. Um, so that the film has a heritage in in the southern European films of, of the 50s and 60s, and um, uh, and so does Dogma, and um, and I've used a little bit of the Dogma uh, search for something authentic, something that has life and innocence uh, when uh, working with an education, but uh, hopefully it looks better than. <laughs> the Dogma films did. Uh, it, what, Dogma was a wonderful experience, and all of the directors loved it, and it helped us. It helped us find the reveal our uh, 
voice as directors, mm -hmm. but none of us had, have gone back. And, and now we enjoy just getting the whole uh, cinematic toolbox out, out and using uh, much more of the craft than you can when you do dogma. I think last time we spoke, you told me that your next movie you wanted shiny cars and men in suits. <laughs> is that uh, is that still on your on your wish list? Yes, it is. Um, I I'm not sure it, it's going to be my next film, but yes, it is. And uh, I had a uh, uh, I advertise it wherever I can, so I I'm hoping to get scripts that are more dramatic, and then I promise to not add humor if it's not if it's not relevant for the film yes I love gangster films and I'd love to do one mm -hmm. and um, I think it's it allows you to tell highly emotional stories to look at society from a different angle and to do something that's super stylish mm -hmm. okay well thanks very much